is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video and a happy new year it is officially 2019 when you guys are seeing this video and it is time for the yearly we always do this at the beginning of every single year we do a room tour of how i do my setup you guys know how we do we got the arena we got the figure set up over here we have everything in the room that you guys always love about the channel and everything we got we got a ton of stuff to go through and this video is probably going to be 20 30 minutes long probably and I cannot wait to show you guys. We've made some new additions here. We've done some really cool things with the room, and I'm super excited to show you guys what we got going on in here, you know, and, and I'm just so excited, guys. So let's go ahead and start off the year right with the official MDT 2019 room tour. All right, guys, so this is how it starts off. If you go through the door here, we're going to open up the door. This is what you would see. It's usually not that bright, you know, that we got the lamps going on. We do have some high ceilings in here. We got the daylight bulbs in there because that's how we do it. So we shut the door here, and this is how it would look you shut the door to the room and you have the door you have this calendar here um, I need to get a new one Bray Wyatt uh, you guys probably saw in the last shot that it was AJ Styles well it's Bray Wyatt now because I had to switch it to December need to get a new calendar now but uh if we go over here above the door, I really need to update this. I have a ton more space here, as you guys can see, and I have a ton more of these figures. I just haven't hung them up. Um, they're actually in this closet right here, but uh, you guys can see we do have the retro figures there, and that's pretty much it. We'll come back to this whole side at the end, so we'll just go right here to the next wall. As you guys can see, we do have the closet, and in this closet, we have a ton of stuff. We actually have a lot of stuff in here. You guys can see we have the WWE action figure plane. We got the retro stuff. We have a bunch. We have my wrestling buddies here. Um, we have a ton of stuff in this top drawer. We have weapons and stuff like that. You know, just tons of weaponry and stuff like that that's not steel chairs. In this um, thing, we have my title belts. All of this is my title belts. All of this is my women's figures. I put all my women's figures and championships in here. So they're in this big bin here. Uh, the tag titles are in the blue bin, and the singles titles are in the pink bin. Um, and again, I have all my women's figures in here. I just don't have any other room for them. I really need to get some more shelving so I can add my women to a display. I think that'd be really sick. Um, right here, we have a... Uh, Elite Alexa Bliss fix up that we did on action figure surgery episode number 13. So if we shut this drawer, and oh my god, I think Ronda Rousey died when I shut that drawer. We go down here, and you guys will see that we do have my cloth accessories. This is every single cloth accessory that's not on display, or it's any cloth accessory that is not, you know, in the pick fed or anything like that. This is where it will go. I have a ton of that. We've went through this before. If you guys would like to check out that video, you can go ahead and check that out. Find that on the channel. The next one we do have is my rubber accessories, and a lot of this... It's stuff I don't use. I don't use any rubber accessories usually. I mean, there's no point to it. Um, that You guys can see all these Top Talent Finn Balor jackets that I got for Christmas. So that's all that's in there. All the rubber accessories go in that drawer. Um, I need to get a new one. I mean, we're, we're running it over here. Uh, in the bottom, we have all ring accessories, you know, steel steps, ropes, uh, all the display stands we've gotten with every figure I've ever gotten go in this drawer. So it's really um, going over. Also, the little backgrounds. You guys can see here, here's a stack of all of those uh, little diorama backgrounds and stuff. We have some ladders, uh, all kinds of bullshit here. So we have all of this stuff, you know, just shove it down in there. Uh, over in this tote, I usually have to like scoot this over. I'll have to pick up this and move it to the right. We got some stuff all over the ground there, but uh, over here we do have my chairs. So this whole bin is full of chairs. Um, you know, steel chairs, the silver chairs, the black chairs, whatever. Any chairs I'm not using, they go in there. In the second one, we have all of my tables. There's a ton of tables in there. So I went ahead and moved that over so you guys can see. We have all these tables in here, like tons and tons of tables. Any tables that aren't in the backstage or, you know, in the arena, this is where they go. And then the bottom one, you guys can probably already tell, we have ladders. So all my ladders go in the bottom one there. If we go to the other side, we just have all my basics that I don't use and then all of my figures that were broken down into parts. So all this is like basic fodder and then this one is just basic figures and stuff like that. The bottom drawer is like a throwaway drawer. Nothing really goes in there. The top over here, we have some different stuff. We have some ACBA cutouts. We got some muscle figures. We have some backgrounds that come with the figures. We have a really cool zebra uh, display right here. This is like a shelf. And I, use, I need to like hang that up and put some figures on it, but haven't really had the time. Up in the closet, you guys can see, we just have like a, a spare ring that broke, my Hitman figure, uh, just a bunch of random stuff. There's all those retros. They go all the way to the ceiling that I need to hang up, so that is that. But that pretty much does it for the closet. Outside the closet, we do have my NFL Fantasy Championship from 2015, I think, or 2016, can't remember. 
I also have another one that I won last year, 2017's championship. I never bought the belt, so I need to get that and hang it up so I can be, you know, 2015 and 17 or 16 and 17. Can't remember which years, but I know I gotta get my 2017 championship. But if we go above the door here, we have some figures on display. I'm gonna go ahead and run through these for you guys. So starting over here, guys, you guys will see these are just a bunch of random figures, nothing too important. Uh, I literally just picked random figures to put on display. Some of them are really good figures. Some of them are just older ones. I mean, we got some elite Evan Bourne in here. We got some DIY. It's literally just random, sort of, um, as far as these are concerned. I just picked some of the cooler figures out and put them up here. Ty Dillinger, Kurt Hawkins, Tyler Bay. We got my custom elite, Cedric Alexander. Tomatonga, Vince McMahon. We have both sets of my Undisputed Era besides Adam Cole. He is obviously on the Vindication shelf. And then we have the beautiful Elite 64 Pete Dunn figure to top it off. And then if we go above that, guys, you guys will see a few more figures. We have Scott Hall, Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin. We got both sets of Elite Usos. The other ones are on the MDT Live shelf. We got Bob Backlund. Um, again, I just pretty much picked a bunch of random figures and stuck them up here. Mostly uh, some customs and stuff. We got my two custom elite Chris Benoit's. We got a couple Kenny Omegas in fantasy attire. We got my Aleister Black, Jinder Mahal. And then at the end, we have my favorites. We got the founding father stable, George Washington, Abe Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, and Santa Claus. So if we come down from that display, guys, we will come down into here. Here are my two WWE VIP live event chairs. Obviously got those when I went to a live event and sat ringside. Um, over here we have my customization table. We have a bunch of stuff over here. This is where I edit all the videos. This is where, you know, I do anything like that. I usually don't customize right here. You know, you would think since all my supplies are here, um, you guys can see all of my paints. I take a, These are the three brushes I use for every custom. I don't use any more brushes besides those. You have a fine detail, you have a base brush, and then you have sort of a medium brush there. Got some figures on display, a few customs. Got Hulk Hogan back there for no reason. But typically what I do for some reason is I take whatever's over here, and I go over here and watch my TV or do whatever, play game, whatever I'm doing, watching YouTube, whatever I'm doing. I sit my custom stuff there and work on it rather than working over here like a dumb idiot moron. Over here we have my office chair, which I am going to be replacing very soon. Very excited for that. Um, the reason it's not updated for this video is it didn't come in on time, which I'm kind of bummed about, but still a really good chair, good office chair. It's very comfortable and stuff like that. And uh, up here we obviously have my full WWE Elite figure display, um, besides that top shelf for some reason. But uh, we have all of these figures. I guess we can go ahead and run through them real quick if you guys would like. And then we will continue on with the video. I guess we can start off in the bottom left corner right here with Brock Lesnar. So you guys know how I do. I usually do it by superstar. So starting off, we do have Brock Lesnar. All the different looks of Brock Lesnar. Obviously, I'm missing a few, but there is Brock. We continue down. We have a Trash Corbin section. I love this custom elite Trash Corbin sent to me by my boy Fig Skib on Instagram. Wonderful looking custom. I got that in some fan mail. We have my boy Sting going through his career through the back there. You got the old flashback Stings leading up to the crow look of Sting. In the middle, we have my boy Seth Rollins. I love Seth Rollins. I love that. Uh, I love all these figures. I get a lot of compliments on my Seth Rollins collection, so uh, I guess I could take you guys through it right here. We just, you know, it's basically a timeline starting off with NXT, and then it comes up. You got 2015, you got a Slammy Award look right there where he won that. You got 2016. Going into the end of 2016, starting off with WrestleMania in 2017, going into the summer. At SummerSlam, we have his Royal Rumble attire right here from 2018. We got the Monday Night Rollins attires. We got WrestleMania 34. We got his SummerSlam 2018. And then we have a bunch of custom Rollins at the end. And that is the full Rollins section if you guys want to take another look at all of those. Then we come down here and we have the Kofi Kingston. I believe I have every Kofi Kingston Elite. Starting in the back with the Elite Four, and then it goes on and on into all his New Day Elites. You don't really think about all the Kofi Kingston's we have until you take a look at it. Um, but then I have the whole New Day together. We have Big E. I am missing a couple Elite Big E's going into Xavier Woods. His uh, Elite 60 figure is on the MDT Live shelf, so you will see that later on. We go into the Dean Mean Machine Ambroses. For some reason, I call them that here on the channel. Uh, so we have all the Dean Ambrose figures, you know, all of them are pretty much the same. I mean, my God, they give them a different jeans color, a different tank top, and call it a day unless it's a shield figure. And then we end off the bottom row with my boy Edge. So we have a few Edge customs and Edge figures there. Wish we got some more from Mattel of Edge, but that is that section. Going up from the Edge section, guys, into my boy Kevin Owens, we have all of his looks. A bunch of these are custom made. Mattel hasn't given us all of these. 
Um, at the end there, I think that's SummerSlam 2017. I have a lot more customs I want to make, but uh, this is just the uh, short little KO division of my figure collection. You got some cool money in the bank attire, Survivor Series, Kevin Owens Show. We got the Prize Fighter. We got the Festival of Friendship. All of the different looks, all the way back to Ring of Honor for Kevin Owens. Going into my boy Chris Jericho, we have, you know, obviously this is his most recent Elite, and then we go back and you have, you know, all of his classic looks from the mid 2000s ruthless aggression era 2005 on into the early 2000s then we have of course his debut in the very back and we have all of his different attires through the attitude era and then we come to the middle section which is my boy triple h we can start at the beginning here with hunter hearst helmsley and then we move into his dx days into the corporation and then we have his uh, return and then we have you know his his evolution attires where he rock you know the different colors we have the we got the purple we got the red we got the blue we got his mid 2000s looks we have his later 2000s looks and then of course we do have COO Triple H and then of course he whacked the ponytail and the long hair off and it was pretty much the shaved head look all the way through pretty much just all of his different mania attires since then we got Royal Rumble 2016 in here, and then of course his most recent Elite, and then we have a Fantasy Attire, and of course we have Authority Triple H at the end, so that is the middle for the Triple H section. Once we finish Triple H in the middle, guys, we do go over to Samoa Joe. His other Elite is on the Vindication shelf. So we have Samoa Joe, and then we have a couple Nevilles. We have a little Shane McMahon, the best in the world. We got his little section right here in the middle, looking pretty freaking nice. Then we go into the Shinsuke Nakamura's. His most recent Elite is absolutely beautiful. WrestleMania 34 attire, Elite 57, and then of course his NXT Elite. We move up from Shinsuke, guys, and we're on to Bobby Roode. Just a short little Bobby Roode section. We got a short little Miz section. Uh, we go into an American Alpha section, which is kind of crazy. And then we go into the middle, which is my boy Randy Orton, one of my favorites of all time. He got uh, a few customs through here. Um, some duplicates because they're not customs quite yet, but then you go into his different attires through his career. Again, it's just like the other guys where it's sort of like a timeline through their career. Uh, we got some WrestleManias up here. We got WrestleMania 33, WrestleMania 34, some fantasy attires. Then we just have some random Randy Orton figures here. At the end, we do have my custom pop Randy Orton from my boy Rod. Coming into this section, guys, we do have the Kurt Angles, one of my favorites of all time. Again, uh, again, you really don't think about how many Kurt Angles we've gotten. I know we have some customs in here, but Kurt Angle certainly does have his fair share of Mattel figures. And then we have Sami Zayn. Can't wait for him to return. Short little Sami Zayn check section. Uh, then we feed into the Matt Hardy section. You know, we got his Team Extreme into V1 on to back with the Hardys, you know, through the mid-2000s into the later 2000s. And then, of course, we have his WrestleMania 33 return and uh, his green attire there before he had to walk away, obviously, after that feud with Bray Wyatt. We then move into the Shawn Michaels. We got the Rockers attire and then all the way through Michaels' career. We got WrestleMania 12. We got WrestleMania 14. We got his DX. We got a few other w figures. Uh, hiding behind this little zebra shelf is the WrestleMania 35 Shawn, which is where it ends for Shawn Michaels. I'd like to get a few more of those, but that is where his little timeline ends on my shelf. Going up here behind this little uh, rack, or whatever you want to call this, at the top of the window, we have the Rey Mysterio section, all his different colorways and stuff like that. Uh, I did have a few more, but I think I turned them into customs or traded them or something like that. So here's the Rey Mysterio section, pretty short section, very bright and colorful section at that. Uh, feed into the Batistas. After Rey Mysterio, we do get into the Animal Batista. Got a few blue Tistas that I want to do customs on uh, going into, you know, his return in 2014. Then we go into the mid-2000s, and uh, we have a few customs throughout here. So we had some early 2000s Batistas as well. Then we go into the Kane section, you know, all his different looks, all his different masks. I am missing quite a few Kanes, but I uh, hope to track those down one day. Gonna have to rearrange these figures once we do that, but there's the Canes. We're gonna skip over John Cena for now and go over here where we will pick it up with Lita. The only women figures that are on display, those are the only women's customs, I do believe, in my collection as well. We got Team Extreme, Rated R, and then the regular Elite 40. We got a few Goldbergs here. We got Bill Goldberg from uh, WCW, then his Ruthless Aggression look, and then, of course, his Universal Championship return. Then we go into the club, or the Bullet Club look. We got all the different Carl Andersons and Lou Gallows. Really nice figures there. If we go above the club, we do get into the Ultimate Warrior. Just a short little section. I think I traded all my Warriors, so there are a ton that I'm missing from him and Macho Man. 
We got the three faces of Foley right there, missing quite a few of those. And I'm missing a ton of Daniel Bryan's, but he does have his own little section there in the back. And if we skip over the John Cena's and we come back over here, guys, we'll pick it up above Kane where it is Stone Cold. We have all his different looks over the years, a few fix-ups, a few customs, different shorts, different, you know, jeans looks and stuff like that. And of course, The Rock had to be on the same shelf as Stone Cold, so we come into The Rock, you know, Rocky Maivia debut, into the Nation of Don Domination, into his singles run, uh, corporation looks and stuff like that through the Attitude Era. And then we have Hollywood Rock and all of that stuff just going through. And then, of course, up until I think that's his WrestleMania 31 look there at the very end. Of course, there are a ton of customs that I want to get done, but we do have quite a few rocks here to fill out and customize. So there's the rock shelf. If we go above the rock, we have the rock's favorite person in the world, CM Punk. Not a huge section. I, of course, want to expand upon the, upon the you know CM Punk's there, but I do have a small little section. Ringside exclusives. His earlier elites, there are a few that are missing, obviously, but uh, we will take care of that eventually. Then we get into the big dog section, which I'm praying for him every single day. We got the custom Bloodline Roman, and then, of course, we have all of his different color vests going through. We got Fast Lane, we got all of those, you know, all the way back to the Shield days. And then, of course, we do have his NXT look uh, back there in the red boots. So the Roman Reigns figures, actually, I have a ton of those. Uh, which look great. I love Roman Reigns figures. They're, they're great. Even though they're not, you know, they don't change that much. They're still pretty epic. And then, of course, we get into my boy John Cena, my favorite collection of anything in my collection. I think my John Cena is my favorite, starting with his debut. And then, of course, it's pretty much just a timeline going through his entire career, uh, starting out in the early 2000s and 2002, and then working through 2005, 2006, his feud with Edge, and then just all of his different hats, all of his different shirt looks. That he rocked through the years, uh, looking good up till then. Then we drop down into the second shelf where it picks back up in 2010. Into his purple look, into 2011. Got all his different figures. Again, all of his different shirts and stuff. I think his hat fell off and I never found his hat. I gotta actually order another one. He took a nosedive off of the shelf and I never found it again. And then we have on to 2012. Money in the Bank. Got his breast cancer awareness looks. We got his 2013 looks. Royal Rumble win 2013 is what that shirtless figure is supposed to be. Again, all of his different shirts. We got his breast cancer awareness from 2013. Even stronger look from 2013. We move on into his lime green and black attires from 2014. Uh, lime green shirt. We got, you know, some moments and stuff. There's supposed to be some championships on these, but I just uh, I took them down for my belt collection. And then I never put them back up, but you have all his 2015 looks as well. Got the yellow shirt. We got uh, his teal and black look, U.S. champ is here. Really love that shirt, looks great on the figure, especially when you have the U.S. title on there. We have his 15-time orange and green attire, one of my least favorite attires ever. I am missing the green shirt version of that. Uh, we have his return Ellen shorts. We got his 2016 looks into his 2017 looks, and then we have his 2018 look here at the end. And then we have a Lance Catamaran custom from South Paul Regional Wrestling. And we have an armband that I actually caught at a vent from John Cena himself. So after we cover that entire section, guys, if we come to the middle here, uh, what this is is just a display table. I mean, you will see my extra Cena figures. I have a box full of Cenas here. That's what that is. We have some accessory baggies, you know, hats and stuff like that. This baggie right here is really special. It literally has a baggie full of Cena hats, Cena arms, Cena accessories, stuff like that. Besides t-shirts, those are in the cloth bin. But uh, we have all kinds of weapons, vests, all kinds of stuff in these baggies. Usually it's the smaller accessories. Um, in the middle we have my loyal subjects that uh, I still need to give away these figures here. Uh, I just kept that display there. Um, I'm still waiting to put up a shelf to put the loyal subjects figures on display. Um, right here we have my GM's office, my MDT GM's office for the pick fed. You know, if I want to I can put it in the arena or whatever. So this just sits on this table. If I want to use it, I put it in the backstage, use the lighting and stuff like that. Down here we have a massive box full of figures. These are my loose figures that I don't use. I usually use these for customs. You know, they're not on display. They're just random figures and stuff. Here is terrible, awful, awfulness, worthless, just terrible Lex Luger basic figure. And yeah, there's another box there full of the same figures. Guys that, you know, I'll use in predictions videos or stuff like that usually go there. We have the uh, custom WWE figure truck. 
I've done a video on that before. That's the same one that ran over RVD and the MDT Life Pick Fed. On the bottom here, it's just a bunch of random stuff and just junk. So uh, the top two are usually the only ones that I'm using from this little display here. Of course, you guys know zebra print is a big theme of the channel. So I have zebra print curtains that I really love. I have my RKO blanket up there for display. You know, I'm a huge Randy Orton fan, so I have that hanging high above. I also have a black thing covering the window there because it gets really hot in here in the summer and that black actually helps, you know, protrude that light out of there so it doesn't burn this freaking room up. On the floor over here we have my box full of horror figures and stuff like that that I was using. I need to take those back to Brad. Uh, we also have my white hair dryer that I use in all of our videos for customization and stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for that. On this wall we have my championship replica championship belts these are obviously all adult these are all replicas none of this is commemorative we have my wwe spinner which is autographed by jeff hardy i met him at a con very nice guy and this was before he returned to wwe and i actually asked him about it and he said you know we'll, we'll see what happens but i don't know and then he totally lied and showed up at wrestlemania and it was amazing right here we have my universal championship replica of course, we got to put the Finn Balor side plates because that's who this championship belongs to. We all know. We all know whose title belt that is. So we have the Universal Championship. We have the big gold world heavyweight title looking beautiful. Autographed by Edge himself. So we have uh, two autographs here, Edge and then Jeff Hardy. And in the back, we have the Attitude Era Big Eagle Championship of the WWE Championship or WWF Championship if you want to call it that. But those four titles look beautiful. I love the way they're hung there. Um, you know, uh, sort of uh, tilted there and off-centered there. I think that looks fantastic. Coming over here, this is where I film all my videos, guys. Obviously, I'm carrying around the camera, but this is where the camera will sit. And obviously, this is what you guys see when we're doing surgeries, when we're doing predictions, when we're doing different stuff. This is the backstage area. Um, just a bunch of play sets and accessories and stuff. And Extreme Sets um, is where you get these backgrounds. If you've never heard of them, go to ExtremeSets.com. You can use the promo code MDTOYS, or not MDTOYS. You can use the promo code MDT to save 15%. Um, they make your backstage and your arena look really, really nice. So if you guys want to pick up any of that stuff, you can go over there and do that. So that is the backstage. And, of course, we have the curtain over there that leads into the arena. So if you go through there, you will end up on the stage. We've got the green screen rocking. we got the entranceway for Vindication. Obviously, the arena is set up for Vindication, which is one of my shows on my uh, pick fed, my WWE figure pick fed. If you guys don't know what that is or haven't seen that, go watch every episode on the MDT Wrestling playlist. You won't regret it, but we have the arena, you got the crowd, um, you got the scaffolding surrounding the ring, got custom ring skirt. Um, these lights do wonderful for the lighting. You guys can step back. They, they make it feel like a real arena. Um, really awesome stuff. You can get these lamps at Walmart with daylight bulbs. We got the commentary team, yours truly there with that blazer on, that navy blazer looking good on commentary. We got the custom announce tables, we have custom chairs, custom microphones and all for the pick fed. We're really professional about it, got the crowd and everything set up. So that about does it for the figure arena. We come over here to the backstage and go up on the wall, you will see the phenomenal AJ Styles. This is a TNA Impact flag. I uh, got this, a really good deal on this. I think I got it for like five bucks at like a, uh, a trade day or something. And it's really beautiful. It matches my Jeff Hardy one over here. Got it from the same guy. Uh, two of my friends, they're, they're absolute beasts. And uh, they hooked me up with those two flags on a great deal. And since we have AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy over here, I figure why not keep you know AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy near the, uh, the display here. So what we have right here, guys, is the AJ Styles section. Um, not a ton of them. I would like to get more, but, you know, we just, uh, it hasn't been a priority to get customs made. It hasn't been a big thing of mine to get some AJs done, but I do love AJ, one of my favorites, and uh, his section's looking good. I really like the lighting right here. It looks phenomenal, pun intended. And then, of course, we go up and we do have the Jeff Hardy section. Uh, the beginning two are customs, and then we have the, you know, the two-pack from WWE Shop. We got Elite 57, Entrance Grace, another Elite 57 fix-up, a custom, and then the Epic Moments. Again, I would love to have more Jeff Hardys, but uh, they're kind of hard to come by. They're really expensive because everybody loves Jeff Hardy so much. So I'm kind of fortunate just to have as many as I do. And then if we go back down to the AJ Styles row, you guys will see The Undertaker. I remember a lot of people gave me crap because I didn't include him in my full figure display uh, back in the summertime. So here's The Undertaker for all those people that were wondering where he was. I did not leave out the dead man. You know, he's definitely one of my favorites. He looks beautiful. And with this lighting, I think the Undertaker looks even more fantastic. You guys can see all the different Undertaker figures and elites that I have. I think this one in the middle really stands out for Undertaker. I think that's definitely his best figure. 
And that cloth freaking jacket is just incredible. So we do have the Undertaker on display forever. And just above him, we have my boy Dolph Ziggler, one of my favorites from the beginning of his career. And then we have through, you know, we got the Money in the Bank win, we got the cash in, we got all his different long tights of tires. Through the years, uh, I don't have any 2018, I don't think. Maybe the fast lane right there. Maybe that's 2017. I can't remember, but we do have my custom MDT. Ziggler's made by BW and Rod. Thank you all guys so much for those. Those are beautiful. So I love my Dolph Ziggler's. And, of course, above Dolph Ziggler, we do have my Steal in the Show, Cash In, Money in the Bank, Dolph Ziggler plaque, where he captured the title from Alberto De Rio. It is autographed right there on the side. I love that plaque. I think it just embodies MDT and all the colors and everything. Really a big inspiration for the channel. That is our font and everything. So a huge shout out to Dolph Ziggler and the creative team for everything they've done with his logos and stuff because it inspired everything that uh, my channel logos represent. We got another Steel in the Show thing up there. And then this is one of my favorite things in my collection. We have my Dolph Ziggler autographed Hell in a Cell ring worn uh, hoodie that he wore to the ring during that match. You can see a picture of him wearing it there and it is autographed by the man himself. So that is a ring-worn hoodie by Dolph Ziggler. I love that piece. It's one of my favorites in the collection. So the Dolph Ziggler shelf is looking fresh. You know, maybe I'll get enough customs one day to move to Jeff Hardy's and we'll have a whole row of Zigglers there with all of this stuff on display. If you guys are wondering what's under the table, it's literally a bunch of junk. We literally have just a bunch of stuff for the arena. We have a bunch of random things. Got boxes, got uh, accessories. There's literally all kinds of stuff under there. I really couldn't even get into it if I wanted to. But uh, we have the final wall, which is over here. Um, I guess we can just cover this real quick. Uh, we have my fodder boxes. This is arm fodder, leg fodder, and then on the bottom is heads and, you know, bigger stuff, uh, leaf fodder and stuff like that. We have my games in that display case there at the bottom. We have my Samsung, I think, I can't remember how many inch, maybe 32 inch or something, monitor, really good for gaming. It's literally the best. If you guys do not have a gaming monitor, I really suggest it. You know, you don't get input lag. You can, you know, game at a high level and stuff. Uh, we have my PS3 and 4 stacked on top of each other. We have these little dolls here, uh, just little uh, plushies or whatever you want to call them of AJ and Seth Rollins. We got my boys. Uh, this is Rod's stuff. I'm going to send this stuff out to you, Rod. I'm working on a little care package for you, so shout out to you. Uh, this is where I write down video ideas, uh, write down pick fed ideas, show ideas, anything that comes to my mind. I jot it down here in this journal. So there's all kind of stuff in here that uh, you guys would probably be interested in, but I can't show you my thoughts. So I have to keep that secret. And then we have this final wall, which we talked about in the beginning, guys. You got the calendar, of course. I'll run down the wall before we get into the final figure shelves. Right here we do have my John Cena autograph picture that I framed. Up here we have this beautiful blanket that my wife got me for Christmas one year. It's got the MDT logo and again with the zebra print and the, uh, the, the, the steel time font and everything. Beautiful looking, just overlooking the whole room. Uh, right here we have a John Cena plush that matches the Seth Rollins and AJ Styles. We have the Finn Balor plushie, which is right above the Finn Balor shelf, which we'll get into. And then we have this beautiful Mattel Elite Collection poster that I actually got sent to me by Mattel themselves. And they did include these sticky notes where they wrote down my name, and I always like that. So I stuck it to the poster, and I framed it up, made it real nice, and it just looks over the room, and it looks great. I think it's a fantastic piece to the room. And to the left of the plushies, we do have my John Cena football jersey. Uh, I would like to get this, uh, you know, autographed and framed, but I haven't had time to get that done quite yet, so I am waiting there, but it is hung up. And then we have my beautiful t-shirt by Zack Ryder that is autographed. He sent me that personally. Huge shout out to Zack Ryder for making that possible and sending that to me. Uh, big fan of the guy and he took care of me on that day. So thank you bro for sending me that. And then we get into the final figure sections guys. We have the MDT Live roster on the bottom. We have the Vindication roster in the middle. And then we have the Finn Balor shelf on the top. So I guess we could start off with the MDT Live roster real quick before we finish up. We got the MDT champion John Cena. We have the MDT Extreme Champion Kevin Owens, the MDT United States Champion Shelton Benjamin, the MDT World Tag Team Champion Usos with their leader Roman Reigns. We got RVD who, who is currently the Mr. Money in the Bank. We got CM Punk, Seth Rollins. You guys get the deal. Here's the whole roster. I mean, I, I think MDT Live's got the better roster. I mean, let me know down in the comment section below what you think, but I think MDT Live has Vindication beat at the moment. We got the GM Eric Bischoff. We got the masked man running around just causing havoc on MDT Live there with the Sin Cara mask. We got a few tag teams going on here. And then we have a beat up Dean Ambrose at the end. So we go up to the Vindication roster, guys. We have the MDT Elite Champion Kenny Omega, the Iron Man Champion Rusev, 
the Revolutionary Champion Miz. We got the Tag Team Champion the Young Bucks, Mr. Money in the Bank, Adam Cole with his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase. Cody Rhodes, Marty Skrull, got the Wyatt Colt coming through here, uh, not wearing their sheet masks for some reason. We got uh, El Generico, Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles, American Alpha, The Revival, Samoa Joe, The Hurricane, you guys get the deal, Aiden English, Elias, all the way back to Braun Strowman, and then we have the official Vindication Money in the Bank briefcase, which has never been used before. Maybe at uh, My Damn Nation or something, we could have a Money in the Bank ladder match, who knows? And then we go up to the Finn Balor shelf, and you guys are going to see a ton of this figure, the Top Talents, or Top Picks 2018 Finn Balor. You guys can see a bunch on the display there. Uh, I'm working on customs, that's why this one's silver, that's going to be Extreme Rules 2018, where he fought Baron Corbin. We got uh, another one of those, a few demons here. Uh, a bunch of custom MDT monthly battlers here. Got Batman, the Grinch, who won or retained the MDT Battle Royal Championship. We have the uh, Joker, Prince Devitt. Uh, we got Carnage, Wrestle Kingdom 9, Prince Devitt. Another Prince Devitt, NXT TakeOver the End, Finn Balor. A few network spotlights. Got the rinks that exclusive fix up, extreme, extreme. Entrance grades, another network spotlight. Got a few more Devitts. Uh, and customs and the monthly batters, ballers coming through. Got the It Baller, White Phantom, Terminator, more elites, and then we finish it off with uh, more top talents. And I even have some more coming in so that I can do more customs and stuff. So that is it for the Finn Balor shelf and all these figure shelves over here. I'm pretty sure that's the entire room, guys. I, I think I went through everything. You guys can get another 360 look here, the arena. Um, everything. I'm pretty sure I covered every inch of the room and everything in between. I hope you guys did enjoy the room tour. Again, we're going to do this every year, you know, as we make updates or changes. Um, we're going to, you know, it's going to expand. And we're going to do the collection next year as well. Uh, I plan to make that a, uh, a yearly thing, you know, the collection video a few days before the end of the year. And then the first video of every year will be the room tour. And I hope you guys did enjoy and got a kick out of it. So comment down below your favorite portion of the room. Uh, let me know who has the better roster, Vindication or MDT Live. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a happy new year. Thank you.